name is David Jerka, and I'm the Associate Director at Kent State University's Cleveland Urban Design Collaborative. Today we're on the second day of our Crooked River commute, which is a 50-mile kayak trip from Kent, the main campus of Kent State University, to Cleveland, which is location of the Cleveland Urban Design Collaborative, um, the Cleveland campus of the College of Architecture and Environmental Design. Uh, the purpose of this trip is really to raise awareness about this natural resource of fresh water that we have in Northeast Ohio, uh, namely the river, but also the, the lake. Uh, we're paddling from Kent, which is a great spot for um, kayaking, and some people know about the opportunities there, but a lot of people don't know, apparently, that it's the same river that connects to Cleveland. So by doing this trip, uh, hopefully we can spread the word that we are all connected, Kent, Cleveland, and all the neighborhoods and communities in between uh, by this river. Good? Yep, I'm good. Hi, I'm Dave Brandt. I am a 1982 graduate of Kent State University and I'm a proud participant in this year's Crooked River Commute. Very happy to join with Kent State alumni, professors, friends here in Northeast Ohio to uh, paddle a few miles up to the Coast Guard Station on the shores of Lake Erie. Born and raised Clevelander, uh, always, always pleased to come back. I'm involved with the Kent State Washington chapter. Uh, I've been a proud participant in our alumni activities for decades now, I guess, 30 plus years, and uh, very excited to get back involved in this. My name is Dax Godkin. I am a Crooked River commuter. It's my second year of the three years that we've done this. And uh, I live in Rocky River. I work with uh, Kayaking 41 North out of, uh, out of Rocky River, and we do tours out of there as well. But they um, generously supported this with the equipment to the last three years. Um, but we go from Kent all the way to the Coast Guard Station at uh, the end of the Cuyahoga with some portages in between. It's a two-day trip, slightly grueling. It's about 10-hour days on the water, sort of uh, you know making all the decisions necessary to keep from uh, going going down in the water. You know, there's lots of uh, potential for uh, disaster in these situations, um, but we have had none so far. Especially this trip has been very uh, very quick and clear and clean. So we've enjoyed our enjoyed our trip so far, and we're looking forward to uh, the day today, which should be a, a beautiful float on a beautiful August day. 